quite excited today because I've actually got a commissioned job from my mum. I was around my mum's the other day having a cup of tea and she showed me one of her rooms. She said, here Rod, she said, come here. I, show you. I said, what? She said, come here, look. She goes, I want two frames on this wall in here. She says, I says, what else? She went, I don't know. She said, probably flowers. And I thought, that'll look quite nice. And there's always something nice about getting some sort of commissioned job. You, you know you know that the print ain't gonna sit in your box, it's for a purpose, and you're shooting and taking photographs for a purpose for someone's enjoyment. And uh, you know, especially being your mum as well, bless her, she's 82, so I better get it right. Anyway, I said, mum, what sort of flower do you want? She went, oh, she goes, I don't know, etc., etc. But outside in her garden, uh, it's springtime now in the UK, and outside in her garden, she's got this lovely flower bush that's uh, all started to come alive. And she went, what about this? She said, I really like this. I said, all right. I said, well, I'll take a couple of cuttings home, take some pictures and see how we get on. She said, all right, lovely. So I took a couple of cuttings of these flowers, bought them home, and they're here with me now. And today I'm going to be taking those photographs, getting them in the, uh, in the can, developing, printing, getting them in frames, and present them to me mum. And she's quite a fussy bugger, so hopefully I don't mess up. So let's get straight on with it. I'll show you uh, what I'm gonna be doing to set up in this room to take the photographs, and then we'll get the film in the can, we'll get it developed, we'll get it printed, get it put in frames, whip round me mum's for another cup of tea, show her the prints and the frames. Hopefully she'll like them. If she doesn't, no doubt, she'll end up bending me over and smacking me around the bum with a wooden spoon. Before I carry on, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get a notification next time I post a video. Cheers. Okay, I'm pretty much ready to take the photograph. Whoa, that's taken me about an hour to set up. Um, <laughs> from initial thought of you know what window in the house should I put it against, I figured this one was the best because it's the biggest window that I can get closer to, and there's no uh, furniture around either, so I can you know jiggle all my grip and tripods and stuff uh, around the flower to get where I need to go. So I initially started off with just the white background here. But I realized that I was gonna end up with the gray background in the photograph. I needed to somehow light the background up, but the trouble with that is sometimes the light can spill back into the, the subject. So I needed the subject, the flower, to be a bit further away from the, the background, um, as, as, as far, far away as possible, really, so I'm not getting it flood from the back. So um, I used these two LED panels just to light the background, but it wasn't bright enough. I needed it to be at least one stop brighter than the subject to create a white background and the reason I'm doing that I just don't want a grey background I want this flat flower to sit on a white background so I ended up pulling the um, mac board a little bit closer towards the lights and it gave me that exact one stop that means I can shoot the flower at f11 and the background is one stop brighter which is a meter to f16 so all the stuff here is pretty simple. I've just got a framers easel sitting there with the uh, framers mat board sitting on it. I've got two LED panels. Uh, you know, it's just a light source, so any light source can do to light the background. I've got the flower that's sitting on top of a, a, a light stand, holding on with a peg. And it took me probably about 15, 10 or 15 minutes to just get that flower in place where I wanted it. I then needed to light, the, uh, the, the window light is naturally putting soft light onto the flower, no harsh shadows, no harshness, nothing, very soft lighting, but I just needed to fill a little tiny bit this side. And for that, I'll just use one of my tripods, a piece of white card, uh, sellotaped it to the tripod plate, put it on there, and then I could move the tripod anywhere I like and get exactly uh, the fill that I needed. So I just needed to fill very slightly this side, and I think that's gonna work. The film I'm gonna use is Ilford's Ortho 80, and the reason I'm using this, I've got these sort of, sort of deep pinky looking um, parts on the flower so hopefully that will just pop and make them a little bit darker than they are so you know I don't know until we until we develop the film how it's gonna look but uh, hopefully it'll be all right now the last thing that I've got to watch make sure um, because outside it's quite a it's kind of a cloudy day you know nice light cloud nice Sun up there 
the sun is coming in and out of the clouds momentarily. So I just need to keep my eyes on the metering and make sure that my metering is still the same when I take the shots. So I'm still at F11, which is good. And obviously the background's, uh, the, the, the background's not gonna change because those lights are more powerful than the light coming in the room. But I just need to make sure that my metering is still where it should be, which is good. Uh, one eighth of a second F11. So no reciprocity failures, nothing like that. Just simple photography. And I just need to make sure that my bellows aren't gonna need any compensation on this RZ67, because the bellows have gone forward now. The, the lens is further away from the film. So I just need to make sure I'm not gonna fall into any compens compensation. I am about half a stop. So I'm gonna go on the side of precaution and slightly overexpose. I'm gonna to go to F8, and uh, that's how I'm gonna work this one out. And I still reckon it will come out okay. So I've just done a depth of field preview, and at F8, I've got the flower in focus, but the stalk, which is only, what, an inch and a half away from the my focus point, is out of focus. So I need to close the aperture down a couple of stops to F16, do another depth of field preview. Now I've got the stalk in focus, or at least a lot sharper than it was, which is more pleasing than it being out of focus. And because I've closed the aperture down F16, I need to allow a bit more light into the camera. So I'm gonna use the shutter speed, and instead of eighth of a second, open it up two stops to half of a second. Now, because I've now chose a slower shutter speed at half a second, enabling me to shoot F16, I need to make sure my background is gonna be a stop brighter. So I need to now make sure my background is sitting at F22. Um, by just tweaking the power of the lights a little bit. Just dim them down slightly. There you go, I'm at, now I'm at F22. So I'm shooting at F16, half a second, background's at um, F22, and my flower is at F16, so that's all good. So these are the negatives. I've developed these in Ilford's ID11 and I digitally scanned them. You've already seen those in um, on DSLR. And I sent them to my mum and I said, choose which ones you want, mum, which two. And she chose number one, which is this one here with the leaf. It's quite nice. And she also chose number 15, which is this one down here. But you can see all the others have come out really nice. The background's come out well. Nice separation between the background and the flower, which is what I wanted. Um, so I'm quite happy with the shoot and the choices and the decisions that I made uh, in camera. So I'm making this uh, print 10 by 8 and naturally there's going to be some cropping because the negative is slightly larger than that, a uh, different ratio than that. So there's going to be some cropping which is good because I need to crop out, there's a little tiny bit of the tripod at the bottom so I need to crop that out and that pretty much centres the flower nicely in the middle. Just missing the slight edges of the leaf but that's an oversight on my part in the camera but you know it's neither here nor there. It still looks nice. The only decisions I've got to make now is how I'm going to make uh, this print. Obviously, you can see I've got dark parts of the leaf here. The background is the dark area, and we've also got some dark area, which is the white on the flower itself, and uh, kind of almost dark grey on these black parts. I want to try and make those black if I can, so maybe a bit of Contrast 5 uh, to help them. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to play around with some test strips 
and see what filters I can come up with. I'm going to start off with a two and a half grade filter, see what that gives me, and then work around uh, the filters and the print from there. But all looks quite good. First of all, just need to make sure I'm in focus using my grain finder. So I've just done two test strips. I didn't do the conventional test strips of um, increments of seconds. I just had a hunch and went a two and a half grade filter at 15 seconds, F8 on the lens. And this is what I've got. Now I could see straight away the two and a half grade filter has started to, uh, at 15 seconds anyway, I just started to attack the whites a little bit more than I wanted. I wanted this image to pop and make it a bit more contrasty uh, than it actually is. So I went straight on with a high contrast filter contrast 5 and I'll just put a test strip under there for 25 seconds and see what I was getting and I've got the whites now hitting where quite nicely where I like them and most importantly is the pink parts of the leaves have gone quite uh, contrasty quite dark quite punchy and the leaf as well hasn't lost detail so to me at the moment contrast 5 on its own without anything else 25 seconds looks like it's going to cut the mustard not only that it's just holding that background um, white just how I wanted it. Anything else like a zero would have started um, burning that background in as well as the leaf. I didn't want that. So uh, let's see if we can get some more separation out of this contrast five. Let's do an actual print and see how it looks. So the printers come out just as expected. I've got bags of detail in the uh, flower, in the petals itself, and it's the nice separation between the background. I don't know how it's coming over on your TV, iPad, or whatever you're watching on, but through my eyes here, a nice separation between the background and the flower. So the flower is just slightly very light gray white color, and the background is white. Um, and the parts of the pink of the flower have come out beautiful. They're nice and um, they pop just how I wanted. The only trouble is the border is a bit too heavy. I need to sort that out. And just this part of the leaf here, I've just thrown in the highlight is just a bit too much. Maybe that was a bit of spill from the background. So I just need to burn that in very slightly. Uh, I'm going to see what contrast zero does if I try and burn that uh, little tiny part of the leaf in. Hopefully I can work on that now. So this is the second print, you can see what I was saying about the border, this was just went off a bit too thick, this one's a bit more pleasing, uh, but it is what it is, it's a border, a self made border, but most importantly I managed to burn in that leaf without uh, killing any of the background or making it obvious, so I'm really pleased with the way this has come out and uh, what I've done there with the burning with the contrast zero. So that's the finished product there, contrast 5, 25 seconds, contrast zero just burned in that top of the leaf there and then put the border on, job done. Oh, that was emissions. We've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's me mums, that's me mums. And these three and these three are going on Etsy, guys, as a pair. So if you want to jump on my website, you want to support the channel, you want these prints, jump on my website. You can see information on there and photographs of the prints as well. Let's get them framed. Let's get around me mums and see what she thinks. Oh, so I've just done my mum's house now, so I'm going to give it a frame. Safety first. Pop in, put the frames up on the wall for her. See what she thinks of them. Surgeon. So I've got my mum's bungalow, I'm masked up, got the frames in my hand, I'll show you the bush. There it is there, the old flower bush there. And this is what I took snippings of. And uh, I've got the frames in my hand here. So uh, let's go and show my mum. Hey. Alright, oh, I've got your frames. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Say hello to people. Hello 
people. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely! Welcome. Oh, really, really lovely. Just what I wanted. Oh, I know. Test it, yes. Should we get them on the wall? Lovely, yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there they are. Do do do. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I've just left my mum's and I'm back home now and she was right over the moon. She loved them. She really did like the frames and the prints and we put them up on the wall for her and then they are there to stay. Don't forget guys, I'm gonna, I've made a, a few more sets of those prints. I'll be putting the link on my website, on the SFLAB website. If you want to support the channel, jump on there. I've only got a few. So if you want to grab a pair of those prints, uh, go on the website, go on to Etsy and you'll be able to get a download link and purchase those prints, support the channel, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video guys, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time.